This is day one, scene three, entitled Tribute. Each scene is the vlogger's take on a specific uh, chapter in the book. This part in particular, Pulse Side, is a reflection of my own experience at funerals. Together, mother and son journey back to her hometown to attend her mother's funeral. It's here that customs vary, and a lot of what is believed to be true relies on superstition or the practice of black magic. I remember attending my grandma's funeral uh, in Nagilian, in the Philippines, uh, and we were doing things like walking through plumes of smoke and dousing ourselves in water that contained uh, remnants of burnt rooster feathers. The second part is a funeral I attended at the Forest Lawn Cemetery in the Hollywood Hills. Uh, what the vlogger says about actually standing and giving a round of applause after an MC speech is true and is what I remember being a stark contrast from any other memorial service I've ever attended. It's definitely a send-off that harkens back to the uh, old days in Hollywood. in frame. frame for the boom. You're out okay. now. Gonna come down just so we can see how much you have. Yeah, it's still out. That's in. Great. That's out. Alright. I go for take, quite on the set. Pick this up. Monitor Scene three, take two, Mark. Oh, hi everyone, and welcome to another edition of my review of A Mother's Will, written by Fortis Lopez. I have just finished reading chapter 16, and spoiler alert, someone has died! I'm not going to say who, but let's just say it, um, that is a surprise. Death is a reality, and someday we will all get a chance. It was definitely an eye-opener, and I can appreciate the fact, even though things may not seem familiar, the idea is not out of the realm of possibility. On a side note, I remember attending a funeral for a showman, someone very famous in the biz. It was your standard wake. Everyone gathers into the huge auditorium, and one by one, friends and family members stood up and spoke, spoke about how great this person was and, and how much they would be missed. In the end, when all was said and done, after all the waterworks, the master ceremonies, and everyone in attendance stood up, and I 
as is customary in the industry, after Stone has given a wonderful performance, they congratulated him with a round of applause. I, I only wish to be so lucky that I've made an impact in someone's life that they too applaud me for my efforts. The book, A Mother's Will, is available online or paperback on Amazon or through the links on his website, VortezLopez.com. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in another episode of my review of my new favorite book. Bye! Good. Good. So right. the cremator and demise. Trying to get my Don't shine. It's fine. I didn't even circle that word. No, it's fine. Demise. Demise. You did it right. Awesome. And this time we move the camera, you're still going to look at the camera. Don't do that. Oh, okay. So we'll move. <laughs> Is this a great location? Pose? Yeah. Right here. Right here. Look at the camera, but also look at me. One eye there, one eye here. All right. All right. Can I get your eye line where you're going to look? Shadow on the top of the uh, chair. Okay. And we're set. Action. Oh, hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of my review of A Mother's Will, written by Fortes Lopez. I have just finished reading chapter 16, and spoiler alert, someone has died. I'm not going to say who, but let's just say that. Is it a surprise? Death is a reality, and someday we'll all get a chance. In this case, however, it was unexpected. The unfortunate demise of one of the characters forces Mel, the lead, to return home to the Philippines. Can I say that it's not Balu or Mel who has expired? In the book, one day is spread out a week. Now, it's not your typical wake where you're standing over the casket with your head down, quiet enough to hear a pin drop. In the book, Thanks to Lens Reynolds for all the camera equipment. I've been renting from them for years. Very fast and convenient. If you're looking to order up something online, they deliver to any FedEx shipping center, along with the boxes and stickers, which makes everything a lot easier to return. The original short film was shot on a Nikon D500 with broken on sheen lenses. This time we stuck with the same camera, but instead with the Zeiss set of prime lenses with a Nikon F mount. Format was 4K, full frame 3840 by 2160. As you might have heard from Jeff, he was very proud of that $8 he spent on that tripod. The lenses were a package of 6, 18, 21, 28, 35, 50, and 85 millimeter. I also went with the Sony XQD cards because they write faster than the SSDs. I got a bigger monitor as well, uh, at a most 19 inch. Everyone gathered into this huge auditorium and one by one friends and family members stood up and spoke about how great this person was and how much they would be missed. In the end, when all was said and done, after all the waterworks, the, the master of ceremonies and everyone in attendance stood up, and as is customary in the industry, after someone has given a wonderful performance, they congratulated him with a round of applause. I only wish to be so lucky that I've made an impact in someone's life that they too applaud me for my efforts. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in another episode of my review of my new favorite book. Bye! Cut. Three explosives. Very good. How was that? It was good. Scene three, room tone.